Knitting 101. How to knit the basic cast on for beginners. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles and a ball of yarn. When you're starting your first project in knitting, you need to attach the yarn to the knitting needle in some way. And the method that we use to do this is called casting on. It's a way of attaching the yarn to our stitches and giving us a base row to work our fabric from. So there are lots of ways to do casting on and each one has its own special uh, use for a particular type of project, but one of the simplest ways is called the backwards loop cast on. So we're going to show you how to do it right now. Step one, we're going to take our knitting needle and we will hold it in our dominant hand. So whether you're right-handed or left-handed, we'll always be referring to that hand as our dominant hand. And we'll use the non-dominant hand to uh, signify the other hand uh, that we'll be using to manipulate our yarn as we work on this technique. So now that we have the knitting needle in our dominant hand, we want the shaft of the needle in our palm and the tip of the needle pointing up. Now for step two, we're going to take the tail end of our yarn. Now that's one of the loose ends, and we want to hold that in our dominant hand parallel to our knitting needle and we want the tail of the yarn to be going the opposite direction of the tip of our needle. So that will be going down. And then the rest of this working yarn here will be connecting to our ball of yarn. For step three we're going to take our non-dominant hand we're going to grab the working yarn and we want to pull it away from our knitting needle uh, perpendicular. So we'll have the knitting needle going this way and the yarn going this way and we just want to stretch out a few inches in between the needle and our non-dominant hand. For step four we're going to hold the working yarn in the palm of our hand and we want to close our bottom four fingers around the working yarn and that will leave us with our thumb going up. So we're going to take our thumb and we are going to go over the bridge here that we've created with the yarn. We're going to go over the top of the yarn and we're going to bring it back around swinging it underneath this bridge of yarn. So you can watch what I do here. I'm going over the bridge and coming under and we're wrapping the yarn around the thumb as we go. So we can see there's a loop here now and we have the bridge going on the uh, inside of our thumb and the loop coming around the outside of our thumb right here. For step five, we're going to take the tip of our needle and we're going to pick up the loop that's on our thumb. We're going to come right underneath the outside edge and come in between the stitch, the loop here and we are going to bring it around over here. So now we can see we've got both our knitting needle and our thumb in the loop that is on our thumb. So for step six, we're just going to release the loop from our thumb and we're gonna tighten that down, okay? Now we don't wanna tighten this too tight. We just want there to be a little bit of tension on the knitting needle from the loop, okay? And I'll explain that a little bit more in just a second. So we're going to repeat this sequence uh, starting from the bridge that we pull away from the yarn. I believe that's step three. Then we'll go to step four and wrap the yarn around our thumb. Step five, we'll pick up the loop going in between the loop on our thumb. And then step six, we'll re release the loop onto our needle and then we're going to tighten that down. Now remember not to tighten this too tight. So let's demonstrate this a couple more times. We're going to come over, wrap around, pick up the loop and release it. And you can see how this becomes a really nice fluid motion once you get the hang of it. 
Now, if you're less comfortable using your thumb, and you can use your index finger as well, just wrap it around, and we'll pick up the inside strand here, going through the loop, and release it onto our needle. Now, we'll notice here that I've been keeping these not super loose, but just have a, a little bit of tension on the knitting needle so that we can easily move these across the needle. This is going to make when we start knitting the stitches uh, a lot easier, uh, both in getting the needle into the stitch, but also sliding them up and down the needle when we're moving them from needle to needle. Now, if we were to do this where it was super tight and I were to pull really tight on each of these stitches here, you can see that the knots are really, really small. It's going to be very difficult to get our needles into these stitches and they're very difficult to move along the edge of the needle. So we don't want those that tight at all. We just want to have a nice little bit of tension on the needle. So we're going to continue repeating these four steps from three through six until you've cast on all the stitches needed by your pattern. And for this little demonstration, we're going to do about 16. And that's how you do the backwards loop cast on. Want more New Stitch Today? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.